we are back with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on Super Famicom. Now, this is actually a new, different file from the one that I was doing uh, or working with last time, because there is money to be saved. For one, I didn't rest, so that's 500 bucks back to me. For another, I actually did neurotically search everything I could, and I got free equipment for, well, we already saw Jotaro, but also Kakuin and Polnareff. I bought equipment for Avdol and just defense for Joseph. So now, we're, we're back in India, we caught up, but now I'm going to go to the shop and see what I might find interesting. And I forgot what direction that was because I'm not that familiar with India's layout yet. Oh, that's right, didn't I have to go back through some earlier part of the city? Okay, that's the hotel, so I, I think I do have to go back through the city. So vast. Yeah, here we go. Here's the armory. Hooray! But I actually have a decent amount of money this time, so this ought to be good. Oh, hello there, Destitute Computing. Welcome. So, if I talk to this guy, the weapon shop... I oh my god, I have 4,050 bucks! So... Good stuff. The question is, what do I buy? Defense is without question. I'm definitely doing that. So, brass cap, plume hat, turban, I believe, uniform. See, the thing is, um, what I'm going to do is start staggering wrist. Is that defense? Oh, it clearly says defense. Okay. See, look at my money's already gone. What I'm gonna do is stagger save files, so if I am able to find items, then I'll just get those and catch up to myself. In the meantime, we can equip a little bit. Jotaro can get the brass cap. Joseph can get the plumed hat. Avdol can get the chain turban. Kakuin can get the metal uniform, that exists, I guess. And Palmerev can get the stone wrist. With that, I can sell a little bit. Not for much money, but I'll take whatever I can get. Um, oh yeah, I found a wonder drug, by the way. And I found a panacea. Wonder drug was in a, uh, a chest. But what I really enjoy is that when I beat the old man who had Grey Tower, where he just sinks into the ground and he just sits there in front of you, you can actually search him. So that's what I got. Good stuff. Uh, anyway... Oh, and I also found some smokes. It reduces stress. It's like Metal Gear Solid. So I'll sell the aluminum cap, I'll sell the large hat, the D turban, I forgot that stood for, the uniform, and the P wrist. So I got some money back. Now the thing is, what do I do about offense? Because I am not buying all the offensive stuff I cannot possibly. Jotaro seems like probably the way to go for this. F hand. Oh, right, that's Old Joseph. Uh, Bangle is Avdol, Button is Kakuin, and then we have uh, Polnareff as well. This is gonna bother me. A Dracologist Grey Tower was the little bug who was flying all around and was like, You can't punch me! Um, hmm. I guess I'll buy for Jotaro. This bothers me though, because, like, th this just murders my funds. Buying healing items? Forget about it. Uh, I guess I'll go for Kakuin and Polnareff. Let's hopefully do that. I really hope this works. So Jotaro gets the Thunder Chain. I didn't buy two Thunder Chains, did I? I guess it's equipped? This is gonna bother me. It only says I have one, which is fortunate. At the same time, though... Remove... Yeah, he's got the Thunder Chain on. I think I screwed this up. I'm gonna reset already. Alright, bye. 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 
both. 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 Okay. Now, let's equip. Good. 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 Done. Now for selling. The hardest part of the game, I guess. Okay. L hat is out. D turban. H button. Uniform. Q steering. Power rest. Brave chain. Aluminum cap. There. Hardest part of the entire game completed. I did it. I succeeded at this difficult task. Hello there, Nito King, Fakafan, and Isaiah. Welcome. Alright, so. I'm actually going to save after this, embarrassing as that was, precisely because that was so embarrassing. But like I said, I'll do a staggered save file because if I could find any of this stuff, I will absolutely get it off camera later, and I'll catch up to this save file. This is another thing you don't want to mash through because resting is 500 bucks. There, new save file, did it. Easy every time. Now let's do the actual story. What a concept. Unbelievable. Let's go into the hotel. They outright recommended that we go there last time. And we're in. Easy every time. So, let's... Yeah. Talk to you. Welcome, Mr. Joestar. Here are your room keys, rooms 201 and 202. Please use that elevator to reach the second floor. Oh, by the way, we are repairing the elevator, so currently you can't reach the basement. We will let you know as soon as it is repaired. Why would we ever want to go to the basement? Like, that's just a weird thing to bring up. But I got the room key. Is it just the one room key, even though it's for two different rooms? I guess it's a key item, so I can't do anything with it. I can't even look it up. Fair enough, I guess. So... I'm passing the elevator. Okay, just the wall. Go in the elevator. And we can select the floor. One thing I will do, I did a little bit of experimentation off camera just to see if there were any items I could get here on stream, and there was one. And I think it was on the third floor. So 301 is locked. 302, I can weirdly just go in. I think this was the place that had the, the item. Yeah, ointments. There we go. Not a very good healing item, but I'll take whatever I can get. Okay, good. Did it. And I checked all of the area of India that I could off camera, and this was the only thing I found. So that's been taken care of. Let's go back. From this point on, everything is new. <laughs> At least to me. So, floor two. Do I ever want to... I'll check 202 real quick. Because this is something I was never able to go into before. 201 is the story point, so I'll... Okay. Some guy... Oh! My name is Cursed Devo. My stand is the Devil's Card. My curse will deteriorate your mind. My card will lead you to an ominous, corrupt future. Ah, crap. <laughs> it's Devo. Uh, MP restored. Hooray! I guess. Do I just fight him? I guess. I'll try talking with everybody. I'll torture you to death! But that actually affected him? Ebony Devil. 6 MP damage. My flame of Magician's Red will turn me to ash! Ah, oh, he got spooked. I actually forgot what his stand looked like. I'm not used to seeing the stand at all. I'm used to seeing something else we'll probably get to later. That really surprised me. Good, I love when I can block. <laughs> Stop attacking, you ass! 28, come on. 
You just don't know when to give up. Ah. Oh. I have no mercy for you. If talking actually works, then I guess I'll just double down on MP damage. My Hierophant Green will seize you! That's not that intimidating, buddy. Uh, I guess it was intimidating. <laughs> Alright, let's double down on talking, I guess. You're pissing me off. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, God! I'll show you the difference in our battle experience! Yeah, Joseph has had a lifetime of battle. <laughs> ah, damn it. I was using the actual standard attack, which is so weird. Yeah, Yami, yeah, this was the puppet uh, guy, so I'm, I'm not used to seeing the actual stand fighting. I think you see his actual stand for like a second in the manga, and from that point on, it's the doll. I wonder, actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if for plot reasons it was supposed to actually physically attack him. Ebony Devil, you don't have any chance. Okay. One MP damage. Oh, there we go. Wow. This is probably going to be a reset point anyway. Oh, he fled. There it is. So I wasn't getting any experience anyway. Now you've done it! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> With this, I can really bear a grudge on you! My stand, Ebony Devil, becomes stronger with my grudge! Damn you! Oh, we don't get to see him maniacally jump out the window? Alright. <laughs> Too bad. Here, Paul Nareff. Uh, actually, wait. Oh no, I can, I can see what the health is before I use it. Yeah, ugh. Great. Freaking lame. Alright, let's check the room out. What? What the hell is this doll? Talk about bad taste. Wait, did we just take it? Wait, are you kidding me? How dare you! How dare you torment me like this! I'll make you pay. What? Oh, I'll pay you this pain. I'll pay you this pain back many falls! I guess we're just fighting him again. This sucks. MP down? Oh, this is gonna be a reset. <laughs> this is absurd. Everybody attack. Just go all in to hell with this. Twenty-six damage. Red bind! Yeah, eight. I didn't give up the whole upgraded attack. Kaki and I did. Emerald Splash. 26 damage. Just one punch to the face. 26 again. <laughs> you hurt me this much. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, I didn't think you'd say that to me. This is gonna be lame. Yeah. Well, at least he's going for MP now. Everybody in. Ah, crap. There's the doll! Ugh. Ah, oh, Polnareff's freaking done. <laughs> ah, god. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, goodbye. This guy can really take some punishment, though. Man, you should have seen this doll in the manga and the, the anime. It is relentless. And yeah, Joseph's basically just a non-attacker. Even if his animations are kind of cool. I can't believe he even did 5 damage. Alright, is he gonna run away again? Thirty-seven damage. This guy really takes some punishment, though. Ah, 
Uh, this doll is freaking exhausting. Yeah, Dracologist just set him on fire. I wish. In the manga, Abdul wasn't around for this. Hey, fled. There we go. He's out. I guess I'll use a supplement. This is probably going to be a reset. This is absurd. But I will check for stuff. Oh, oh, okay. A supplement. I needed that. And that's the room. I guess I'll check 201, right? Why the hell not? Hello there, Neon Wave. Welcome. And yeah, just another room. Oops. Appointments, okay. Mediocre. Alright. Well, I got a little something, right? I got back what I used, actually. That ain't bad. Alright. Uh, Yami, you're asking what does the tarot card do? Like, do you mean in the menu? Tarot? I have two tarot cards in my inventory because I found them, and I could buy some more. If I use them, Avdol will ask me whose fortune I want told, and when I select a character, he'll say, oh, this person's lucky item is X, and then I can buy that item and equip the characters with it, which I did with Jotaro, by the way. Uh, you... Oh, no, I did not with Jotaro, because this thing's freaking expensive. Joseph got a charm, and I think Hakuin, you got a passport, because those were cheap-ish. But Jotaro's lucky item is like 2500 bucks. I'm, I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. Anyway, we got the uh, the 201. We got 202. So, that was fun. I don't think there's anything else on this floor. Yeah, that was it. That was floor two. It wasn't that fun. Bye. Oh, hi. What the? <laughs> Sir, the elevator repairs are done. You may now reach the basement. Okay. So, do I actually want to go to the basement now? I probably do. This game is very linear. Yeah, alright. B. Cool. Alright, so we're on the basement floor. Is there anything for me here? We just go right into it. This elevator will be your grave! You numbskulls! I'm going to gnaw you to shreds! Blah! <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, in the manga, once we injured Devo once, he was gone. Everything after that was the doll. He just went and hid somewhere and let the doll do the talking. Oh, okay. So let's just beat his ass. Uh, Jotaro will check. Joseph, there's not much point. He'll just talk. Wait, wait a minute. We can only talk? Alright, everybody's checking. And Polnareff can attack? Is it because Polnareff is supposed to attack him in the manga? I don't freaking know. Ah, uh, this is not boding well. Ah, uh, well, that's always fortunate. Kakuin actually thought of something. Alright, so the big question here is whether any ideas actually work. They're probably going to be nothing, so I get the feeling I'm going to want to instead do something that I never did last stream, which was... use Guts, which is the chance for a critical hit. I might be getting myself killed by doing the check thing, so if this doesn't work out, then... Oh, very nice. Then I'll reset and just... attack. <laughs> Speaking of... 16? Oh, this could take a while. <laughs> well, Palmer, I thought of something anyway. Joseph, good. Jotaro, good, alright. 
And Paul uh, Abdul will go for Crossfire Hurricane. With decent damage. Alright, now everyone's gonna go all in. Here we go. Nice. Oh, it's the move where he shoots the sword tip off. I didn't realize what that was at first. He used that move, I think, exactly once on uh, Chaka. Maybe he tried twice and it didn't work on Khan. That move was awesome. That's one of his supers in the PS1 fighting game. I always say the PS1 fighting game, but it's also uh, Dreamcast. Oof, ouch. Freaking Devo. You can actually play as him in the PS1 Dreamcast fighting game as well. It's awesome. His, his like, intro animation is he crawls out of a mini fridge. <laughs> it's so good. Ugh, even for a critical hit, this might just not do anything. <laughs> no, okay. 13? Wow, that's insane for Joseph. Because I haven't given him any attack upgrade items. <laughs> He just came with what he started with, which I think was nothing. Ah, very nice. When is this guy going to go down? We, we've been dealing actual damage. Crossfire Hurricane Special! Yeah, that, that fight actually wasn't bad. Abdul leveled up. $780. Okay. <laughs> That's it, we just beat his ass. Hello there, Barry, welcome. Okay, so after that... The basement bathroom is inside. Just now I heard a terrible scream from there. Yeah, that actually did happen in the manga. We were supposed to be fighting the doll. I guess they just showed us Devo's face to give us context, but we were fighting the doll. So when you go into the restroom, you see that Devo's been like horribly mutilated. <laughs> he got destroyed. You can't really see from here, but, but he's done. Roof key. You're actually supposed to search this one. He's, he's out. <laughs> Nothing here. By the way, as tedious as this is going to be, I'm sorry. I'm doing it anyway. Because I discovered something last time I did this. Eh, whatever. I'll just go back and forth. Nothing? Give me a second, we might get something out of this. So far, this is a miserable failure. I'm just wasting time, don't worry about it. Nah, this might be a bust. We might, we might get nothing from this. Well, okay. What I was trying to do is that your stress levels can go up and down, especially early battle, when you choose the bad tarot cards. Or the good ones, I guess, if you go down. But using the uh, the restroom can actually reduce your stress. I did that on the plane in my, well, this save file. Otherwise, there's nothing to see here. So Devil's done, I guess. Bye. How's our health doing? Perfect. Eh. Ooh, that's actually bad. It's also bad. It's perfect. Okay, ointment. Ugh, it's not very good. You know what I'll do is I'll save. It's easy enough to do that. Back to floor one, although I'm supposed to be going to the roof right now. But I might as well take a bit of a safety save here. Please enjoy your stay. I love this guy just follows me around. Hey, guess what? I fixed the elevator so you can go to the basement if you want to. Weird. Well, so far I have not found any items that I could have, uh, you know, not purchased instead. So, I guess, so far we can keep this save file. Okay. There, we got a safety save. Now let's go back into the hotel, because we have not explored everything. I wonder if I can go to room 301. I don't know why I would be able to, but I'm curious. 
It just kills me how expensive equipment is, because even buying health items, all of a sudden you realize you can't do it because you bought equipment. Anyway, floor three, let's go. Freaking Devo. Alright, so I will... Yeah, hi. There are stairs at a rooftop. You can see a great scenery. Yeah, thanks for the hint, buddy. Yeah, room 301 is just not happening. Okay, here's the way to the roof. So, let's go. Why not? Okay, right it is. Hey, I can see a great scenery from here. Wait, are you kidding me? You should be... very dead. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Are you surprised? I am immortal! Not really, though. <laughs> I guess we're fighting him. I'm glad I saved. Oh, very nice. Okay. I can't believe I have to fight this guy again. This is ridiculous. Alright, let's beat your ass. Also, I just realized that I'm talking, so oh well. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Boom, get wrecked. 25 damage, baby. And now it's back to the stand by itself. I don't get it, but okay. Oh, Yami, when you get Iggy, can he do his business too? That is a very good question. Like, I have no idea. I can't believe we're fighting this guy again. Like, he should be very, very dead. 36 damage ain't bad, though. Hermit Purple. I don't know if Joseph has ever used that to actually attack... He used it as a channel and attack once, but memory serves. I don't remember him just going after people with his purple thorns. Oh, here we go. This is like an, an end of the series move. <laughs> and that's the one he dodges. Alright. I don't know if those are actually different attacks in the game, or if they're just different animations so the player doesn't get bored. <laughs> Ooh, very nice, Kakuin. Always a pleasure to block, because that is not a guarantee, and attacks hurt. Keep at it, boys. I guess. Oh, okay, we're done. Hey, that was a pretty painless fight. What? Oh, that's clever! It's Rubber Soul! In the manga, he took Kakuin's form, but in the video game, he made you think it was Devo, so we did kill Devo. What we were just fighting was not Devo, it was Rubber Soul and his stand Temperance. That's a drastic change from the manga, that's pretty clever actually. This is my real form and my handsome face. Do you understand? Now, let's fight! Oh boy, that's, ah, oh, that's great. HP restore. Oh my god, this is this is a, a good round. All right. Yeah, Yami. I'm sorry. There's no little 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 little. It's not happening. Oh, hello, Rabbit Ogre. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I also did not see that coming. That was that was quite the surprise. Um. Okay. So. Oh, whoops. Polnareff attacked. The flame of it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this guy's stand is very irritating to deal with. <laughs> Palmer will just beat his ass, I guess. 13, uh... Uh-huh. I wonder what Kakuin says, actually. If you won't get out of my way, I'll unleash my star platinum on you. Ah, oh, no, don't do that! Are you ready? Eh. That was scary enough. One MP damage. The freaking. 
11 damage isn't terrible. I guess that's good. Is there anything else? Yeah, alright. Let's just beat his ass, I guess. I don't think he has that much HP. Probably because we just fought a battle before getting to this point, and there's no skipping. You can actually play as this guy in the PS1 Dreamcast fighting game as well. His intro animation is he looks like Kakuin wearing yellow, and then he eats a butterfly or something and grows like a couple centimeters, and you're like, what? <laughs> it's fantastic. And when he wins, he goes, do you understand? It's amazing. I can't believe Joseph's doing any damage. Oh, very nice, very nice. Alright, this should finish him, I think. Wait, he fled? A flesh-eating stand? But we don't hurry and find that bastard, something bad's going to happen. Mm, a key was dropped, it's the key to room 301. So that's where that is, okay. Oh, hell, I didn't think there was actually gonna be anything here. Survival book? Judgment up, I don't even know what that means. But that's enough for this. What, what does judgment mean? Like, what does that translate to as a stat? Anyway. I'm a little concerned though, because the guide said something about defeating him. Like, did I miss out on experience? I don't- oh wait. Like, I don't even know. Hope not. Jump comic, <laughs> like Shonen Jump, that's great. What did that do? Stress down. Okay. Um, right, let's use... Does anybody need a, a health item? Perfect. Perfect. Eh. Perfect. This is a really good run right now. Oh, another TV. Welcome to India, Joseph Joestar. Did you like my welcome party? I can already see them. Your overwhelmed faces. Okay, jerk. Stop blowing up my TVs! It only happened once in the manga. Hey look, it's some guy. I heard a big noise. Does something happen? There's a rumor that a strange creature has been eating people recently. Will you have nightmares about it? <laughs> what if he actually is a handsome guy? What? Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was stupid. I'll finish you off, bro. Alright. My stand has no weak spot. Your energy gets dispersed and you'll be absorbed. Yeah, to be fair, this guy's uh, stand was extremely difficult to beat. It was very irritating. Alright, I guess this time I'm supposed to fight him for real. More restoratives, please? That'd be great. Stress up. Mm. Why are they all talking? I guess I just have to talk first? He's on guard. Oh, that that's amazing. I have no mercy for you. <sighs> Can't guard against words, buddy. Come here, my stand will eat your flesh. I don't remember him talking all weird like that. He talks like that one guy with 21 or 21st century boy in part seven. Just straight up hacked at him. I won't let you escape. Oh, no, old man, don't intimidate me. Yellow Temperance, you don't have any chance. <laughs> Whatever. That doesn't bother me so much. Oh yeah, I'll burn you to death. <laughs> nah, whatever. Alright, let's beat his ass. Even though Kakuin can only talk. Hello there, Silent Pain. Welcome. Hey, dodge, damn it. Well, well, it's Joseph. I'm not surprised. Oh, really? 
Not cool. Oh, uh, this is a waste of a turn. This sucks. Yeah, there we go. Jeez, one guy hit him. Okay, good, good, good. Ten uh, damage, ten more. And everyone can attack now. Ooh. Very nice. 17, uh, okay. Very nice. Kakuin blocked. And he's on guard, and he's on guard. Oh man, I love it when he just wastes a turn. So this might negate my attacks, but I, whatever. No, I just punch him in the damn face. Get wrecked, buddy. Crossfire Hurricane! Why won't he die? This is frustrating. Oh, here we go. That attack never hits. I don't get it. And this is just a waste of an attack, so whatever. Well, the J-Bug, welcome. Dodge that too. Ugh, Joseph is just basically not an attacker. <laughs> you piece of shit! Oh, don't say that! Ugh. I can't believe we didn't get a Do You Understand, but I beat his ass. Joseph leveled up, hey! Kakuma leveled up. Very nice, very nice. Get wrecked, bro. I, I, please stop! I can't fight! I'm beyond recovery! I'll give you some good information! There was a witch who taught Dio about the stands. Her son has two right hands. His name is Jay Guile. Polnareff wants revenge, right? I heard he uses mirrors. That is basically what he said. Yari yari does it. Alright, we should go rest in our rooms for today. Polnareff and Avdol have room 202. Me, Jotaro, and Kakuin have room 201, okay? Let's call it a day. I was wondering about the separate rooms. Is this that hotel? We're just doing this in the same place as Robber Soul and Yellow Temperance? That's so weird. Alright, then we'll go to our room. Avdol, let's go. No, I wanted to search Yellow Temperance. Next morning. Polnareff's in the bathroom. Ha! Huh, inside the mirror! We are just going right to it. Ha! Huh, there's nothing. Just my imagination. For a second I thought I saw you, the player. Oh, crap. Hey there, Polnareff. You'd like to kill me, right? Well, do your best. <laughs> this could be a problem. Stress off. Ugh. Oh god, I don't even know what I'm attacking. This sucks. I'll just attack, I guess. Take this! Why haven't I healed? This is so bad. Hey, Polnareff, do you really think you can avenge your sister? 25, jeez. There he is! And damage, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I love the mirror dodges, the whole thing. Alright, this is probably it. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, we broke the mirror. What's happening? He's finally here! The stand user that uses mirrors is here! That son of a bitch that killed my sister. Avdol, I'm going on my own. I'm going to hunt that bastard down and kill him. This is a case of the... Biter bit. Okay. Polnareff, I won't allow you to go alone. I'm going. Room 201. Avdol explained that morning's events. If that's the case, none of us can stop Polnareff. I'm just very disappointed in him. I didn't think he was that kind of person. Alright, let's follow Polnareff. Okay, so I'm playing. I don't imagine there's anything in here because I've already searched it. But I'll check anyway because why the hell not. And I will save as well. But there you go. Wow, there is just one after another. Devo immediately into Yellow Temperance. 
and immediately into the Hanged Man. I can't believe it. This game is just non-stop. Yeah, Kieran, of course, breaking the mirror made it easier for Hangman to attack, but Polnareff didn't know that and is also very impulsive. So, like, like too bad. Mr. Joestar, we have seen Mr. Polnareff heading alone toward the marketplace. To go to the market, just turn at that angle. Okay. I know what he means, but at that angle. So, this is the place, but I'm gonna go save. Yami, how many mirror stands in the JoJo series? I can only think of two. That one and uh, Man in the Mirror from uh, Illuso. I don't think there are any other mirror stands that I'm aware of. Unless I'm forgetting something. Good. Alright, we're looking good. Okay, so now to the market. There's the potion shop. Or item shop, whatever. The guy who was in front of that door is gone. Uh, okay. I guess this was a bust. Is there somewhere else to go? I mean, when you say the marketplace, I tend to imagine that you mean the marketplace. Maybe it's it doesn't have the same meaning as the place where I go to shop. Maybe it's west. Let's go to the other marketplace. Actually, this would make more sense to place around it by people, for reasons we'll get into later. Oh, there he is. Hey guys, the man with two right hands should be around here. Oh, he's just back. And we're fighting. Oh, it's Whole Horse! Whole Horse, that's my name. I'm the stand user of the Emperor card. After I get rid of you, Lord Dio is going to give me a big fat paycheck. Fair enough. HP restored. Alright, do I fight him for real? No, not really. Alright. This gun of mine will send you to hell. Gun beats sword. I gotta say, I'm surprised that this game's going through as many enemies as it is. Especially in such rapid succession. Could we ever ignore the words? Come on. We get intimidated by everything. I'll show you the different... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just wasting time by talking. Oh, nice! Yeah, that hurt. Abdul actually had an idea, what? Hull horse here will kill you all! Ah, oh, no, don't do that! Oh my god! I gotta see what the idea is, if anything. It's probably nothing. Crap! Run away! Oh. Okay. Good enough, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hey, Polnareff. Your sister was pretty cute. After I kill you, why don't you ask her in the afterlife just how I killed her? I love that look on your face. Oh, uh, here we go! We go right into it! So I should have run away earlier. Oh, MP down, that sucks. They could intimidate me to death. Alright, so this will be a pain in the ass. Oh, that's cool. And this time, you know, when we've seen that with, like, Polnareff stand, it looks like it's moving so fast, it's flashing back and forth, but that's not what's happening. It's actually going back and forth between multiple mirrors. Oh, wow, we blocked a super bullet. <laughs> I'll take it. 
And that's the move where he comes out of a mirror and stabs you, probably like in the ankle or something. We are going to need to heal Kakuin. Oh, very nice! Polymer blocked it. Those are some reflexes. <sighs> Crap, run away! There we go, we're supposed to run away from that too. This is bad. There's too many things that can reflect. The odds are against us. Polnareff, bear with it and let's move somewhere in the outskirts. I got it. Sorry for losing it like that. Wow, and Avdol didn't even get shot in the freaking head this time. Everything's coming up Avdol. I don't think I have an ointment. Yeah, no. Yeah, Kakuin absolutely needed that. Alright, so we did that. Where's the outskirts? How do I get there? Oh, let's escape in this truck. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Oh, here we are. Outskirts. After shaking off the hangman, Jotaro's group... Yeah, we totally shook him off. There's no point in running. Ah. Well, doesn't matter. I would have appreciated a stress modifier this time. Okay, so... Hop, 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 hop. This is very irritating, this fight. Let's just hope we can block this crap. Nope! I can't get a break. It drives me crazy when bosses attack two or three times in one round. And we're not blocking them because we suck. Wow, this turn is a bust. Oh no, I've got an idea. We're good. Yeah, Kakuin thought of something too late. That's great. Crap, run away. Yay, we did it. Oh no, our truck. He caught up with us. But there's not much that can reflect. Plus, the only one left is the hanged man. What? Oh, and we're moving now. I don't believe there's anything to search here. Oh, the beggar kid. What's wrong? Are you alright? Are you alright? Bakshish, be merciful. Bakshish, be merciful. D that bastard! The hanged man is inside their eyes! Yeah, this might not mean anything to some people in the chat, but the hanged man's gimmick is that he uh, can move through uh, reflective surfaces. So, as long as you can see one that is within eyesight of the other, he can jump to it, and eyes are reflective services. Oh yeah, Neon Wave searched the truck. I wonder if I could have done that. But in any case, he's in their eyes. And now we just have the Vitam. This sucks. How about this? Now I can move to many places. <laughs> I know my stand's weakness perfectly. Inside a crowd, I can kill you one by one. Unless, of course, you want to poke out this poor innocent child's eyes. Oh, there we go. Wow, I'm getting some lucky picks right now. Alright, so... Anything special I want to do here? Alright. I guess I'll just attack with you. Yeah, Paul Nareff, block. These guys take way low too long to think of stuff. Although I love that move. It's probably gonna miss though. No! Okay. They barely did anything. Lame. Polnareff, you're sucking, I gotta say. Cock you when you're taking too long. Abdul thought of something.
Actually, I should just attack with Polnareff again. Yeah, Avdol's idea is no good. It's, it's Kakuin's idea that I need. You can't see my movements. He got psyched up. Oh, crap. That's probably not good. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. 22. Alright, Kakuin's idea is the one that I want. Kakuin, buddy, do something, please. Dodge, this sucks. Oh, there we go, it's something. Not much, though. He moves by using reflections! Defense down. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. You will never grasp the secret of the hanged man. I think he spoke a little too late, but it still scared the guy who came up with the secret of the hanged man. I wonder what happens if I do Kakuin's thing again. Would his defense go down even more? I'll try it. I'm just gonna attack. Twenty damage. Yeah. Level seven, Jotaro. Palmgraf is just not leveling up. <laughs> I've waited for this moment for a long time. With this, my sister can rest in peace. Palmgraf. Come, let's search that Jay Guile bastard. He might have something. Listen, to defeat Dio, we must work together. If anybody does something on their own, they'll take advantage of that. Got it? Oh, we just do it by ourselves. A treasure key? Ability up, I guess. So, yeah, Polnareff stabbed the ever-living hell out of Jay Guile, and it was very satisfying. Anyway, we're out of here, so let's leave, I guess. We just have to walk back, I suppose. That's probably, this is probably the place. Alright, we're back in town. Oh, this guy's just back, inexplicably. Alright, I will save. By the way, the, the game didn't comment on this, but when Polnareff said, if anyone goes out on their own, they're going to get taken advantage of, um, somebody, I forgot who, acknowledged the hypocrisy of Polnareff being the one to say that, because he ran out and chased <laughs> the hangman by himself and got his ass beat and got Avdol injured. But Avdol was not injured in the game, so I guess we're cool? Anyway... Do I want to keep going there? Yeah. Hold it! I got you now. Listen, you should know by now that you're no match for me. If you want to run, just try it. Ain't that right, Jay Guile? Oh, I, I was wondering why he was attacking us. He must not realize Jay Guile isn't here. Oh man, I keep increasing stress. I'm gonna have to find a restroom to use. <laughs> yeah, but he really must have no idea that. Oh, Joseph's not looking good. He really ha must have no idea that Jay Guile isn't here. This is kind of silly. I think he's just not gonna understand what's happening. Emperor! I wonder if Avdol's idea is to leave, because if it is, I'm just going to do it. Nope. I think we just have to suck this battle up. On guard, thank goodness. Okay, I think this is just gonna be it. Yeah, the idea is useless. He's out. He must have realized he was alone. Whole horse's whole thing. Yup, there it is. I 
I'm no match for them. Alone, I'm completely at a disadvantage. I'm out of here. Yeah, he always likes working with one other person. That guy sure can run fast. Alright, we did it. We beat him. And now for a little bonus for ourselves, this place was always locked. But it isn't now. Ointment. Okay, I'll take it. Thunder chain? Wait a minute. I guess I'll sell it, but there you go, I could have found a thunder chain. Hmm. Tarot card, I don't care. Sedative. Set a give. Restore MP, nice. VR goggles, what? What the hell? Stress down? Uh, sure. Panacea, very nice. Dio's letter. Ah! Oh! Joseph Joestar. I wasn't expecting you to be able to read this letter. What a persistent man. But don't be too full of yourself. You just defeated some of my stand users. There are more for you to enjoy. I love that he wrote that in anticipation of all of his henchmen losing. Damn you, Dio! We'll find you sooner or later! Gross ability up. Okay, so maybe if I refresh this uh, save file, I can buy an attack up for, I don't know, just Joseph or something, or just Avdol, and Jotaro can get his at the end of all this, I suppose. Because I really don't want to spend any extra cash, because this hurts. Also, um, ointments for Joseph. Of all items, I get the thing that I bought already. God damn. But it's cool that I found this, right? Mr. Joestar, it seems whole horses left this town in a car. On a car. We have prepared a car for you. It's parked in front of the hotel. Please use it. Just to be sure, please check your equipment before leaving. Yeah, yeah. At least the game gives me a chance. Damn. So I spent 500 bucks I didn't have to. Could be worse, but, you know. But this basically concludes the India portion of this game. Oh, the Thunder Chain still sells for a lot. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Um... Smokes, Wonder Drug, freaking VR goggles. What happens if I use VR goggles? Is it just for one person? Group stress down. Okay, I'll take that. Even though that could have sold for a lot, I'll take it. Um, oh, what the hell? I hope I don't regret this. No, I will regret this, so I won't do it. Apparently, there's new equipment to be found later. I almost bought something for Joseph. Alright, let's get out of here. <clears throat> here we go. Good, now let's follow that whole horse guy. Hold tight, people. We're gonna fly. Well, he's not kidding. 44 days left. That is a lot of time. Jotaro's group following Hull Horse approached Pakistan's border. So welcome to Pakistan, everybody. It's very chilly here. It must be because we're in the northern part of India, close to the Himalayas. Besides, these roads are narrow, and there's many mountain paths. It just occurs to me, I don't... Did I save? 
There's, there's a car coming from behind. Looks like he's in quite the hurry. No way! This game is actually bothering with Wheel of Fortune? That's absurd. I can't believe we're actually doing this. That's so good. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. That is my stance card. Oh dear. Stress up again. God damn. <clears throat> Alright, do I actually have to fight this guy? I guess. I'm not doing idea this time. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do crits. Whoa. Oh my goodness. And I wasn't so bad. Yay, Palmer is ready. Ha ha. Ah, oh, that's not much. I hope we see the driver in this. Because when you first see, like, a, a shot of the driver, it's so intimidating. Okay, everybody's ready to go. Oh, man, unbelievable. And by the way, Wheel of Fortune, uh, like, the car is the stand, I believe. That thing is, like, indestructible. Its wheels grow spikes so it can climb cliffs. It's, 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 it's absurd. <clears throat> Ah, oh, come on, that was a guts attack. Eight, Joseph did more than Taku in that should not be. Twenty-five. First fire hurricane special! Thirty, and now we're talking. You won't go any further. Wheel of Fortune will kill you! Ah, ah, it should have been farther. That's why I took 5 MP damage. Oh! Get wrecked. Polnareff is just not leveling up. 10 bucks? Get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's immediately back and he's stronger. Oh my god. Yeah! You can't defeat me like that. I'll run you over. This is amazing. Oh, Kakuman was healed, yay. I love that, it just grew bigger. It's on guard, thank you. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, he blocked it, he- Polnareff blocked a car, everybody! That's like Sabin suplexing a train, Polnareff just blocks a car. But you can't block harsh words. I gotta wait for everybody to get an idea. This is so painful. At least Avdol and Kakuin thought of something. I guess they're the smartest ones in the group. What do I know? No, 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 no. Not idea. Guts. What? Oh, no. This car is ridiculous. 29, that's not good. But Joseph thought of something. That's so scary. Aldo could not block a car. Uh, well, but Jotaro is smart. And Kakuin does Emerald Splash. I need all the crits I can get. 17 damage is not going to do it. Red Bind! Hold I thought of something. He's a genius. Guts. 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 All right, everybody in. I wish this car would stop doing this, though. Yeah, Polnareff, all in. 19, eh. It's on guard, 19. I'll take it. Like, make every turn the boss be on guard, please. Yeah, take that, buddy. 31, now we're talking. Yeah, super Emerald Splash, I guess. 66? Yo! 
Uh oh. <laughs> Polnareff blocked all the shots from a car. Yo, Polnareff's alright. Who would have guessed that Kaki wouldn't be the one carrying this fight? I would have thought for sure it would have been Jotaro. 19. On guard, yes please! Yes please! This is great! The car dodged the vines. He's really good, I guess. 26. CFCS! Yeah, the scary thing about this fight is this guy actually has HP. <laughs> Nine, ugh. Maybe the attack animations actually do change based on the level of intensity. Like, this is a medium attack. 27 damage. Okay, everyone's guts. Oh no! Polnareff? No, Jotaro. 30 damage, damn. That's a lame attack. And it actually hit. For five. Thanks, Joseph. What a hero. Oh, god damn. Alright, Avdol's out. Nineteen. Eh. This is not good. Ah, Avdol died at the wrong time. Last second, man. Whatever. Polnareff finally leveled up. Do we get to see the driver, please? Well, we get to see the whole driver. The first time you see him, you just see, like, a gigantic, overly muscled arm coming out the window, and you're like, oh! And then you realize that the guy's scrawny except for his arms. Hey! Don't kill me! I was just paid to do it! I'll tell you something. In the next town, there is the witch that taught Dio about stands. I don't know anything else. Please don't hurt me! Have a look at that. So this is the stand user of Wheel of Fortune. Yay! All right, we're done. Jotaro's group, after crossing the border, reached the town of the witch. Somewhere in this town, there's a witch that taught Dio about stands. Be careful, everybody. Let's go. Okay. Half of this town is covered in fog. Oh no, we're doing it. <laughs> that fog brings fear. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be actually intimidating. Uh, I guess I'll save. And before triggering any scenes, I'll go looking around for stuff to find. We are still investigating this mist. Something strange has also happened. Another half of the town has appeared from the mist. We cannot approach it carelessly. If you need the rest, please come inside. Okay. I'm sorry, that TV's broken. It'll be repaired soon. I can't wait for them to repair it so Dio can immediately break it again. <laughs> what an asshole. Alright, I guess I'll just check around the town, right? You can't come inside. No trespassing. Only the bravest may enter. Hey, whatever, I'm brave! Alright. <laughs> and this is the uh, item shop. Or the equipment shop. There was a graveyard around here once. Cool story, bro. Ocean, books. Okay, and that's where I need to go. So there's really not real uh, any opportunity to search for equipment. That's too bad. This is the best I can do, right? And I don't think there would be anything in the item shop to search for, but I'm going to check everything. Oh! Yeah, I know why her face looks all messed up. This is actually genius. Greetings, are you looking for something? Actually, you know what? Speaking of stress... Oh, it's only on a particular person. Yeah, that woman's face has seen better days. 
but I'm going to be buying equipment shortly. Which sucks, because everything's expensive. There's really no reason for there to be anything to find in the item shop, but I'm checking anyway. 4,000, eh. I could just buy VR goggles. Okay. Oh well. Okay, equipment shop. I really have no choice, there's nowhere to search for anything. Damn, you are always at a loss with money in this game. Okay, I tried. Wait a minute. Oh my god, it's all the same stuff. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So who has what? Oh, yeah, that's right. Obviously, I have to buy something for Joseph. Yeah, I can do that now. Oh, thank god, the game was kind. Flying hand, what? Okay, and I'll buy for Abdul as well. Oh, the game is actually giving me a big, big break. I thought it would be the next level of items. Thank goodness. Victory Bangle. Okay, thank you, game. That means I actually have money for healing if I need it. Where's the hand? Oh yeah, Joseph just never had an attack item. <laughs> so now all of a sudden he's a viable contender. How are my characters doing? They didn't heal us, which sucks. We are all seriously messed up. I think I'm actually going to spend 500 bucks to rest. Because that is way cheaper than buying the healing items. Way cheaper. Thank god the items didn't level up, though. Now, for once, I'm ahead of the game. We'll see if that lasts. Thirty-nine days left, but that's really not a big deal. Oh, thank God. I'm saving. Missed town. Oh, boy. I'll take a little bit of a look at this place. Ah, uh, now, now that this has all happened, I'm, I'm genuinely excited. And again, this music isn't bad. In this bar, there's a secret members-only club. If you really want to join, you need a mark of courage. The Cobra Key. It's in the building after the weapon shop. I wonder if you can get it. Alright, now that I've talked to that guy, I can trigger... The guy who said only brave people can enter? This guy? I th no, 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 not you. Yeah, you. You guys want a mark of courage? <laughs> Curious, aren't you? Well, whatever. Come inside. But only one of you can enter. I'll do Jotaro, because he's the bulkiest of my guys. Do your best. Oh, God. Alright, we're in it to win it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I guess this, I think this is the wrong way, so I'm gonna check out everywhere I can in this place. Yeah, see? Panacea, very nice. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to come back in here, unlike the other strange mansion, so I'm definitely doing this. Facing off with Vampire, we're doing this again, I guess. Why the hell not? Stress up again, it just never ends. Six damage. Finally, I've been waiting for you. 
Ah, I was spooked. I don't win the bravery award. This sucks though. I gotta fight vampires by myself, and I'm not Jonathan or Young Joseph. <laughs> Whatever. I beat a vampire. This is one of those cases where I really don't want them to flee because of experience. Although now that I think about it, all of my other party members are not getting experience. This would have been a potentially good time. Ooh, nice. A potentially good time for someone else to get XP. God, when's the last time I've ignored the words? Like, the first fight in the entire game? Whatever, vampire's out of here. I got XP and I got 220 bucks. Huh. I'm gonna keep going. No, I won't. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, a chest. Okay. HP restored, very nice. Uh, huh. This could actually be a problem. Damn, not Jotaro's day. But he had an idea, thank god it was quick. I'll try the idea. Hopefully I don't waste my turn. If it doesn't work, then I'll just use Guts. Uh, man, this is not good. I'm really getting my ass kicked. Ah, damn it. I was hoping it'd be like the first fight in the game where I just attack all three guys at once. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, Kieran, Joseph would be amazing right now, because you could use Hamon and just insta-kill these guys. Have a good night, Isaiah. I am seriously getting my ass kicked. This is this is a pathetic fight, because I used the stupid check thing. That's not enough damage. Whatever, I have guts, so I may as well use it. Thank god I got one attack off first, so I don't have to sit through all three of theirs. Get wrecked, buddy. These guys are really draining my MP. This is annoying. Good thing I have those Jasmine Leaves. I might actually need to use them. Yeah, my MP is in dire straits. They brought me from like 80 or 90 to 34. That's absurd. Ugh, and it takes two hits to kill all these guys. This sucks. They are really killing my MP. Unbelievable. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's gotta be the super one. I wonder how much damage that would have done. Thank you. Yes, please block something. Damn, I'm ready to die of MP loss. This is insane. Yeah, get the hell out of here. That was horrible. That was genuinely de uh, terrible. Eh. Okay, that did not go well. Hey there, Magnum, welcome. But yeah, this, uh, man, this sucked. Let's check the chest. I better get something good for this. Okay, that was the boss. I got the stupid Cobra key. Fine. And the good news is this place wasn't as big as uh, I was afraid it would be. Oh, that was great. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Oh, 
I didn't really think you would get it. Please, come on in. Oh, I can go out here now. I wonder if there's anything, like, secret out here. Actually, I probably shouldn't be wandering around here, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not allowed to go in there. That's going to be a plot place, almost certainly. Okay, well, I've explored the town anyway. Let's try going into the, uh, the place that the guy was blocking. Expect this music. Okay, only one way to go. Okay. Actually, this is a gambling house. Oh. Oops. I can't stop gambling. <laughs> You should quit while you're ahead. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's a man inside looking for game challengers. I don't want to face them. Oh, my God. Want something to drink? Drinking here will replenish your MP. Is that an option? Can I do that? Where do I get something to drink? But this is way too early to be meeting this guy, but I guess we're doing it, which is really weird. Ah, crap. My name is Darby. Daniel J. Darby. Would you like to gamble with me? If you win, I will give you information regarding Dio. However, if you lose, I will take your soul. I mean spirit. Now. Let me explain the rules. The two players will turn one of the five cards on the table. The card with the highest number wins. A is stronger than K. Okay, A is king, but two is stronger than A. Oh, that makes sense, because one, two. And the suit's order is from the strongest. I'm actually amazed the game is explaining this for a Super Nintendo game. Spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds? That's different. Okay, how about it? Okay, I got it. I'll be the first. Oh dear. Polnar's MP became one. <laughs> Who's next? I shall be your opponent. I think I'm like guaranteed to lose these. Too bad. This seems to be my lucky day. Now it's my turn. Don't you have to say I'll bet my soul or something? Whatever, it's fine. Good. I'm no cheater. This is a game of luck. <laughs> I hate gambling, but I don't have any choice. <laughs> this is infuriating. <laughs> hoo hoo hoo. Finally, you're the last. Shut up and deal. Do I get to break his finger? <laughs> Yeah, boy! But what does that mean? I just, like, legitimately won? I lost. Go to the outskirts of the fog town. There was a clue there. Oh, man, he's back. That was it? He just gets off? Okay, that wasn't even a minigame then. That was just, like, a, a weird extended conversation. Darby is one of my favorite interactions in this entire manga and this was just oh i legitimately beat him in a card game okay well <laughs> that was odd and i'm out that was really weird all right i'm gonna try to do the next thing just to see if i can do it so normally this is where i end the stream but i i gotta try going a little bit more a little bit far uh, further because i'm so curious i really want to see where this goes why was Darby here? That makes no sense. 
We're supposed to meet Darby in the middle of nowhere, and he's like, oh, I could tell you where Dio is, not where... We're supposed to go in Mist Town. That's really freaking bizarre. Okay. So actually, you know what this means, is I should not have used the Jasmine Leaves to restore Jotaro's MP, because... I think the interaction with Darby would have just restored it. No, Jotaro's was not restored. Everyone else's was. That's kind of cute, actually. Alright, so... Did that business. Which way was the mist place again? Oh, that's right, it was the far end of town, because the guy left and opened the way. Oh, I look forward to this. I want to see how they handle this, if it's what I think they're going to do. Still nothing with the hotel, I'm surprised. Aha! Oh, uh, do I check him? Oh. Oh, that guy with the, I think, the mustache? What? What happened? Hey, you! And we're automatically following on, oh, I'm not doing this myself. Oh, there we go! Oh, man, I can't wait. Alright, this is where it gets real, I guess. I'm gonna search everything in this place. Oh, this music. This is so retro doom. Okay, this I think is the wrong way, so let's go in. Okay, it's locked. Let's go upstairs. I'm excited. And I believe I'm going the wrong way now, too. But I can go in here. Damn. Oh. Facing off with zombie. Yeah, that sounds about right. Can I just beat their asses? I guess I'll just fight them. Oh, right. Jotaro's HP is uh, in trouble. I gotta heal him. I wonder how much punishment this guy can take. Kind of a lot. What the hell is this? At least he doesn't hurt that much. I love the idea of talking our way through the zombie, like, he loses his will to fight, even though, by definition, he doesn't have a will of his own. <laughs> Dude, no, seriously. Can this guy go down? I'm actually getting a little nervous about this. Why do you have this much HP? That's unreasonable. He's on guard, yeah, whatever. Why is he still here? Oh yeah, Joseph could actually attack now. Because I finally got him an attack item. There we go, there we go. 150 bucks. Oh, a gold chest? Encyclopedia. Hey, it's the 90s, they still had those. All right, that's what I get for going the wrong way. That was pretty profitable. It's whole horse. Uh, you'll die in this town if you get hurt. Something incredible happens. The stand justice is the strongest. Yeah, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. <laughs> By the way, the, the reason I was so concerned about you go in room 201, I go in room 202 or whatever, that was a thing with this part of the story, not the random hotel we stayed at. It was supposed to be this place, which is odd. Anyway, now this is unlocked. In fact, it's wide open. Alright, we're going the wrong way. Okay, wall. Didn't help. And the only place to go is the other door. Fine.
Okay. I wonder which... Ah, crap. Stress off. That keeps happening. It's driving me crazy. You know what? Attack? Check. Check. If I'm just going to talk to them anyway, I might as well use my effort to preparing a bigger attack, right? Hello there, Blitters. Welcome to the stream. Always nice to dodge, and Kakuin had an idea. We can use guts. I ah, man, I really hope we can take these guys down. I want all the XP. And these guys have way too much HP, it's concerning. Joseph did not have an idea. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Guts. Oh, here we go. Will this move hit for once in my life? Thank you. One fewer attack. And the zombie was on guard. It's like a free turn. I'll take it. Now we can go to town on this guy. Good. Now Joseph's cooking with gas. All right, everybody in. Ah, crap. Oh, we did a tongue attack. That's great. Come on, please, just let me finish this guy off. I'm excited to see where this goes. Good. Wow. Level him up, baby. Very good, very good. Alright, which room do I want to go in? I guess I'll just check every room, right? Because I think I'm going the wrong way right now. No kidding. This is why I check. Okay, what do we have? Supplement, very nice, very nice. More exploration, please. I'm so excited, we're really, we're really getting intense now. I'll go in this other door too. I think this is also a wrong way. Oh, the bathroom. Wait, what? Oh, right. There, stress down. See? I told you there was a point. I don't even have to use an item for this. Group stress down, baby. Absolutely worth it. Everybody's stressed down. Okay, moving on. I'm excited. Three of these punks. Stressed down, hey. Okay, here we go again, I guess. Very annoying, but we'll do what we can. Yes, please let them be on guard. I don't feel like getting hit by a whole gang. Oh, one of them fled? Damn. Less experience. This is when you can really min-max this game. I could, like, I could have saved after the last fight, come back, fought this one zombie group, hope nobody flees to get the maximum possible experience. Good 
Because, like, there are no random encounters in this game. Everybody can attack, I guess? And because there are no random encounters in this game, if somebody flees, like, they're gone. You miss out. It's very frustrating. That's why um, when I first started the game, when one of those punks fled, I had a much tougher pro uh, time fighting Kakuin than when no one fled, because it was the difference between level 1 and level 2. You don't want to get left behind. Very nice, very nice. I love that attack. Good. Oh, nice. Got a level up. Okay, now we go in. So many big spooky houses. Vampire house, vampire house, and zombie house. Hey, it's Enyaba! I'll torture to death all those responsible for my son's death. I am the mother of Jay Guile, whom you tortured to death. My stand's ability is justice. Justice is a mist stand that controls corpses. Wow, she's just giving everything away. It doesn't matter if there are hundreds or thousands. I can control them all. <laughs> just a few minutes. As soon as you get even a little scratch, you will never defeat Lord Dio. This could be a problem. HP down. Wow, this really could be a problem. Uh, Joseph is in the worst shape, I guess. This is gonna suck. Damn. Nothing. Wow, it's just by herself. She's fighting. And yet, despite being a little old lady, she's surprisingly spry. Oh, there's Justice. 25, damn. I don't have to heal Joseph. And Jotaro's useless. I'm surprised we're dealing damage to her at all, but it's not much. A single scratch is enough for justice to kill you. And Polnareff would know. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Nice. We are not dealing the damage we should be. This is frustrating. Nine. Like, this is pathetic. Ugh. Oh my god, he blocked Justice. I don't know how you block Mist, but Joseph did it. What a badass. <laughs> One. Oh my god, and that's with current equipment? This sucks. This thing really hurts. What the hell? Finally, Jotaro thought of something. This might be the key to beating it. This is gonna kill Joseph, isn't No, okay. Hitting somebody else. But I gotta watch my HP. This is so bad. What? Like, this is inexcusable. I'll inhale your stand. Yeah, here we go. I'll beat you before you can take another breath. This is probably gonna hurt. And Kaku ain't even got a super move off. 79, that's what I'm talking about. I will get my revenge for my son Jay Guile! Psyched up. Yeah, now we're dealing actual damage.
Ah, finally, real numbers. Alright, guts. Everybody who can do it is doing it. Freaking old lady Enyaba. Yeah! 112 XP for Joseph. 870 bucks! We beat Justice, that was it! You Joestar bastard! Inside you, a lover's seed has entered. Why? That's That guy isn't here. Kikikiki! <laughs> and then lovers will grow a flesh bud inside your brain. You'll die, torn apart from the inside. Serves you right. Gah. Oh my god! Yes, I can't believe they actually used that. Holy shit! Oh no! Mr. Joestar, let's use the TV. Your Hermit Purple can use the TV to look inside your brain. Then we will enter inside with our stands. Wow, so we're doing the lovers, but we're not doing the stand user who has the lovers? Okay. If that's the case, then there's a TV at the SWF office. I hope they finish repairing it. Anyway, let's hurry. But what if I keep going to the right? I guess I'll go up this way, right? Oh, it just takes me out. Thank you, game. This is a graveyard. This is a graveyard in the desert. The whole town was a stand all along. Yeah, we've been over that. Well, or, well no, we haven't, but we... I that, that is how the manga goes. Alright, we did it. Oh, I have no normal health. Oops, I didn't realize that it would auto use. But I needed that anyway. That's good to know for later. I didn't realize that was for everybody. Oh, that's right. I have to go back to town. I forgot. I really hope they let me save before I do the TV thing. Because th this is where the save point is. I bet you they don't, though. I bet you I just go... Yeah, nope, too bad. What? There's a flesh bud inside Mr. Joestar? We must hurry and remove it. Yes, the TV has been repaired. It's ready to be used. Yeah, we're just in. There it is, it's the lovers, but no Steely Dan. Oh, God, I didn't think I'd be looking inside my brain. So it's really there. We're just fighting them. Here's a fun fact, by the way. On the PlayStation and... and oh, no, just the PlayStation game, because it has a whole story mode. This is actually a shooter section. It's so weird. Anyway, Mucky! In this world, the one that knows himself is the best wins. Or knows himself the best. Hoo 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 hoo! History's weakest enemy is the most, most, most fearsome! I can take it easy while Joestar's brains get torn to shreds. Not good. And I can still hit him. 8 damage. I think I'm gonna have to use the idea for Kakuin to really get anything done. Ugh, the Lovers was kind of an irritating stand, but Steely Dan, the stand user, was such a piece of garbage. It was infuriating. And he's just not in the game, even though we're doing the Lovers anyway. It's weird. Kakuin's gonna use his idea. You can't deceive my Hierophant's eyes! Yeah! The flesh button inside Joestar is growing rapidly. Oh, that was his taunts. But we, we hit him with Hierophant, so we, we should be good now. This should do real damage. Yeah, 28. Very good, very good. Let's just go to town on this guy. 29 damage. Now we're talking. And this guy does not have as much HP as any of us, so we ought to be alright. I gotta say, I'm a little... That was it. I'm a little disappointed with, uh... Justice. It was just, like, an attack. <laughs> oh well. So we got him. Um, Polnareff leveled up. Yay. You did it! 
Whew, that was a close call. Whoa, now I can feel all the stress. Old man, can you move? We have to find that whole horse guy as soon as possible. If anyone knows about Dio, it's him. Old Enya to me was just a very small existence. She merely taught me about stands. It was nothing more than that. I'm still not used to this body. The Joe Star blood is rejecting me. However, I just need a little more time. Just a little more. Wow, no mercy for TVs. And these guys just repaired this one. That whole horse was in that big mansion where old Enya was, if I remember correctly. Oh, so do we have to go find Whole Horse? But I'm certainly saving. Yay. I wonder. Oh, we're... No, we're not fully healed. But we're looking really good. Avdol and Polnareff are the only ones who have... any trouble. I think this actually is where I'm going to stop now, because... if I go and finish the Whole Horse thing then I think... Well, no, I'll try it. I'll try it. One last thing. I'll see if I can get away with this. I can't believe we had a, the lovers fight, though. That was weird. We didn't even meet the user firm in this game. That was such an extra thing to do. But okay. Let's go. I'm gonna go back into the hotel. I wanna see if we can do this last thing here. This will be a nice way to close things out, hopefully. Okay, I have to go here. The whole horse is no longer here. But, what? Oh my god, tell me your wish. I will grant it. My name is Cameo. I want to thank you for freeing me from this box. I know what you want. I will grant three wishes. The first, I will level you up. What? Oh no. Facing off with Johto? Wow, I didn't expect this at all. This is different. So we're not gonna fight, like, Zombie Avdol? Or, like, Polnareff's dead sister? Uh. Whatever, let's go. Can you really kill your friend? <laughs> Jotaro, you don't have any chance. <laughs> he yells at the image. Homer just goes after him. Ah, crap. These guys actually could take a hit. This is weird. This never happened. Fighting three Jotaros. Do you think you can evade my crossfire hurricane? Alright, let's beat their asses. Oh, we're still talking. Okay, now let's beat their asses. Uh, for God's sake. Oh, that's not good. I'm glad I saved. Oh, Jotaro dodged, damn. Alright, everybody. Guts. Yeah, alright. So much MP damage. This fight is tedious, and I can't tell how many attacks each Jotaro is getting because they are all the same sprite. <laughs> this is irritating. I wish we could just beat one with MP, because we've certainly hit him enough. Thank you. One fewer attack to sit through, right? And Jotaro again, dodges Star Platinum. Nobody's faster than Jotaro, I guess. 
Ah, oh, this feels better. Okay, everybody can attack now, too. Finally. Let's make this happen. Freaking cameo trolling me. Stop asking me if I can really kill your friend. It's annoying. Can we please bring them down? I'm tired of seeing Jotaro's. Thank you. Six? Wow, thanks, Joseph. That was great. Thirty-two, that's better. Alright, beat his ass. Still not done. There we go. Thank you. Level 9. Level 8. $380 for some reason. So, did you level up? That's actually pretty creative. Here is your second wish. I'll show you where a whole horse is. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Guess we're doing this. Ugh. Very irritating. I'll break you to pieces! What a generic threat, but it's spooky enough for us, I guess. Ah, damn it, nobody's getting an idea. I'll do all's an idea. Ah, oh, these guys suck. Wow, these guys are not idea men, apparently. This is very irritating. Guts! I guess, I'm gonna go all in with the thinking. There, Polnareff's ready to fight. Joseph's ready to fight. You guys suck. But I, I like the way, though, that uh, Cameo is, like, because he twists wishes. I like the way he's doing it within the context of the video game. You want to level up? Okay, here's enemies to fight. You want to know where a whole horse is? Here's fake whole horse. Like, I gotta admit, that's, that's kind of clever. Oh, here we go. Cameo's such a jerk. But he's not saying hail to you, which is frustrating. Because that's, that's his whole thing. It's like Death 13 saying lally ho. Alright, we got him. Oh. Oh, everyone's leveling up. This is great. Have you seen Hull Horse? Was it the wrong person? <laughs> I am a stand. I am the stand of the Judgment card. My ability is to answer people's wishes with clay. You have faced my clay dolls. Your last wish. To know Lord Dio's secret. I'll tell you if you defeat me. Oh boy, here we go. The previous battles must have given you a mental shock. I will grant Lord Dio's wish. Oh, there it is. No, he's supposed to say hail to you. It was Avdol's clever line. Avdol said hell to you because he threw fireballs at him. Whatever, we're doing it. We're in it to win it. Everybody get ready. He's on guard, thank you. Cocky and smart. Crap. Just punches at me. And he was fast enough- Whoa, that really hurt. He was fast enough to block Polnareff's attacks, too. Yeah, Polnareff needs to heal. This is kind of bad. Polnareff's smart now. I hope we beat this guy quickly. Fifteen. Ah, oh, dude, could you not? Now I'm actually nervous about my party's health. Ugh, Kaku and Polnareff are not looking good. I'm going all in, though. Hell to you! He got psyched up. And he's on guard. Thank you, game. Oh, please take him down quickly. Please. We're not dealing the damage we should be. This guy's got good defense, I guess. 
And he's making me do like three battles in a row, too. It's very irritating. Three, really? I'm doing all these weak attacks. Maybe it's because he's on guard? I don't know. 27, though. At least he didn't go after us. Except for that part. Oh, and we blocked it. Nice. I'll take it. All in, baby. Eh. Okay, 15. It's not great, but I'll take it. I just want to finish this guy off quickly. Please let me do this. Better. Yes! Oh, my gambling paid off. All those level 8 now. 1600 bucks! With a stand with this kind of power, the user must be close. There he is. This doesn't make sense in context because we're in a room, but whatever. Hi! Please forgive me! I'm sorry! I don't know much about Dio, but I have this information. In a town in Egypt, there's a stand user that doesn't follow Dio. I think Whole Horse has also gone to Egypt. Bye. Ability up, yay. Thank god. Alright. I think I just leave. Yeah, I just leave now. Okay, now I'm gonna save. This takes care of Pakistan. We did it. We, we, we beat the area. Alright, to Egypt. We should be able to recruit a stand user that fights against Dio. Let's go back to the SWF office and get ready. Ah, damn it. They don't teleport me back there, though. Not that it's that far, but... You know. But this is going well. This is the exit, I think. Oh, and you know, I, I forgot to mention it before, but that woman who runs the item shop, who had the boils in her face, like, I thought that what the game was doing was that everyone running the stores in this town was dead. Yeah, maybe that is what happened. Unless it was the bookstore? Let me let me just see who's running the stores. Cause there's only three stores, right? There's items, books, and armory. I'm actually very curious. No, she's still here. Okay. Because the whole gimmick is that the people, the, the townsfolk, were being manipulated by justice and they were all dead the whole time, but I guess just never mind. <laughs> Mr. Joestar, we're sure of this. Dio is in Egypt. Before leaving for Egypt, don't forget to check your equipment. When you are done, please talk to me again. We are ready for departure. It's kind of funny because... In the manga, they find out Dio's in Egypt right after beating Kakuin. The whole plot is about getting to Egypt. It's not about being strung along. Now you have to go to India. Like, no, they went. They were in India because I think they're like their plane crashed, and that's just where they ended up. They were trying to get to Egypt from the very beginning. Okay, saved. We beat Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen, and Egypt, I believe. Yeah, should be the last area of the game. I mean, there'll be more than one thing to do there, but we're really moving along in this game. This is going quite well. So, that takes care of this. This is where I'm going to end the stream. So, thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful night.